Hello, y'all. Hmm. My name is Mickey. For all y'all that know me and for others who don't know me by Mickey, my name is Tamika. Um, the other day, my cousin posted a challenge uh, to give your testimony. And I felt like it was time for me to give mine as well. Um, y'all know I've never been on social media up until I've probably been on Facebook five days, probably. But anyway, um, I'm going to share my testimony to you all today. And um, it started about nearly two years ago, back in 2018. I started experiencing um, different types of um, feelings. I had different types of feelings you know, being uncomfortable, like it, dizziness, such and such things um, that were going on with me that I couldn't relate to. So each time I went to the hospital, it told me one thing that I had this type of dizziness. This was fatigue. This was based along the lines of uh, what we call um, um, when you have equilibrium problems, um, vertigo. That's the word I'm looking for. And they told me this, they told me that. So I, I was misdiagnosed three times, even up to the point today they say that I had bronchitis and I had to purchase an inhaler, which is like $75. But anyways, um, all that was wrong. But it wasn't until November of 2018 um, where I took, drove myself to the hospital pretty much. And I didn't leave until they told me what was wrong with me. Um, I found out that I had three liters of fluid around my heart. Fluid. I work in dialysis. Fluid. You don't want fluid. Especially if it can't be removed properly from the body. Um, so I had three liters of fluid around my heart. Um, they were telling me, well, you need to, you know, call your family and let them know that we're going to have to, we're getting ready to admit you immediately. Um, the way they were talking, I, I was dying. That's the way they were talking. But I want to tell you this. I stood on the word of God. Um, I felt ex exiled. I felt like I was in an asylum. Um, I felt a lot of different things and, but I didn't waver. I stood on the word of God. The word of God says when the enemy rushes in like a flood, he'll raise up a standard on the inside of you. That is the word of God. Um, and I stood on that by his stripes. I'm healed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Uh, he was chastised for our, you know, our, you know, um, fire iniquities. He was bruised. Everything, everything we go through was nailed to the cross. That was what I experienced. I did not give up. I stayed in the hospital approximately total a month. Yeah. And, uh, I never missed a beat. All my bills were paid. Everything was taken care of. It took them approximately three weeks to uh, diagnose me with their diagnosis, not what God said. Um, so that that took a toll on me. Um, but I still remained firm. I still stood on the word of God. Um, so they um, um Diagnosed me with what they call an autoimmune disorder where your muscles fight against themselves. Some people call it lupus, whatever they want to call it. God hasn't told me that. Um, they sent me home with 13 different medications. I've never taken medication in my life. Um, but I stood on the word of God, prayed, and um, I don't have those 13 medications no more. And I know the word of God says that we are to... That we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimony. I stood on the word of God. I continued to speak the word of God over my life. Uh, my prayer warriors were in, were, you know, in position. And um, I continued on routinely as I normally would. Go to school. Go to work. Go to church. Be with my family. Family is very important. Although we're going through social distancing, family is very important to remain connected with your family. Um, 
via via social media. Um, a hug, a, a kiss you, you wave your kiss, whichever one you want to do, but remain connected. Most of all, remain spiritually connected. Um, yeah, so that's what I went through. That's that's my testimony, and I came out. I don't look like what I went through. Mm-mm. No. Praise God. Praise God. I don't look like what I went through. And for all of us, just to go a little rabbit trail, for all of us women that desire men, uh, got to have a man to do this and got to have a man to do that, listen to me. I will tell you probably 30% of my problem was a man. I will tell you that. Y'all, please wait for your time. The word of God says do not waken, you know, love before it's too early. That's the word of God. Do not waken love before it's too early. Enjoy your singleness. Embrace it. Love on you. Love, love on you. Love being with you because at the end of the day, all you have is you. Um, you are whole within yourself. You don't need someone else to to um, validate you or, or to make you feel like you're important. You already are important. The word of, important. The word of God says that you are fearfully, carefully, and wonderfully made. You are made. You are made fearfully, carefully, and wonderfully, strategically made. So that is my testimony. I love you guys. Um, and pay attention to your body. I'm 46 years old. My body tell me stuff I never thought I would. Pay attention to your body. You know, the little cracks and crannies and little aches and pains. Pay attention to your body because your body will tell you when things are not where they need to be. So that's my advice to you guys. I hope um, that this um, testimony of mine helps somebody somewhere. And I pray to God that it reaches people all over the world. But you will make it through. Just stand on the word of God and know that he is real. He is real. He is real. In the name of Jesus, he is real. So that's my testimony for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a blessed day. Bye.